everyone. Welcome back again to a wonderful video. This video is going to be very interesting as I have come up with the short short topics that are asked and can be asked in upcoming CSIR Net Life Sciences exam. And if you are an aspirant and preparing for upcoming CSIR Net Life Sciences exam, then this video will be really helpful for you. As preparing all these topics, you will ensure you a good rank in CSIR Net examination. So let's start with the video and see the short short topics that are asked in CSIR Net exam from each and every unit of Life Sciences exam. Coming to the CSIA Unit 1 that is Biochemistry. If you analyze the Biochemistry syllabus, you will find the most important topics from where questions are asked each and every year. So the topics are, the first is pH, concept and buffer. So you should know about the pH, its concept as well as buffer. You should know about Handersel hazelbach equation that is pH is equals to pK log plus log salt upon acid. And from this, many questions are asked as you have to relate pH and pKa value. So you should know the formula for Henderson hazelbach equation. The second is amino acid which are very important. It's classific classification properties, everything about amino acid. So you should know about the structure of amino acid, properties as well as classification. Here you should know about the basic amino acid, acidic amino acid, OH group containing amino acid and also you should know about the PI calculation. So if you, you are given a numerical, you should know how to calculate the PI of given that protein or you can say amino acid. The third is Ramachandran plot and peptide bond. Ramachandran plot itself is very important. So you know, you should prepare well about the Ramachandran plot where is the uh, you can say the structure of collagen that is found in Ramachandran plot what about the alpha helical structure beta pleated sheet so you should know well about the Ramachandran plot psi and phi values and also the properties of peptide bond whether it is planar 0 degree and 180 degree what would happen if the proline is present adjacent to this residue so you should know each and everything about Ramachandran plot the fourth is protein analysis and enzymatic cleavage of protein Protein. protein analysis you should know about all the reagents that causes the cleavage of the protein and what will be the fragments that you will get after the, upon the digestion or you can say if uh, let's say about trypsin if trypsin is digesting that protein the next is bioenergetics so here you should know about the bioenergetics and all the thermodynamics you should know how to calculate gibbs free energy standard free energy how to calculate delta g and delta g naught that is what called as gibbs free energy energy. You should know about MM equation and what is the final MM equation and after that how the regulation is done and what is the line Weaverberg plot. So you should know about MM equation as well as LB plot. The next is enzyme kinetics. Every time whether it is gate examination, DBT, CSIR, it is asking about how to ca calculate the enzyme activity, how to calculate KM, how to calculate the catalytic efficiency. So you should know about all these formula and which is called as enzyme kinetics. Kinetics. You should also know the six classes of enzyme that are there. So enzyme kinetics, it's KM as well as Vmax value you should be knowing as well as the enzyme inhibition. So there are many different types of inhibition like uncompetitive, non-competitive, mixed inhibition. So you should know about the plot as well as the equations for all these types of enzyme inhibitions and its type. And also you should know about the regulation. What will happen if you add the inhibitor to it? So you should also know about calculating the inhibitor profile file and also the KM that is apparent value or if it is asking about KM. So you should know the regulation of enzyme inhibition as well. The next is metabolic pathway. So you have metabolic pathway and also you are studying this metabolic pathway in unit 6. So make sure you are studying metabolic pathway here like glycolysis, what is its regulation, enzyme needed, inhibitors, activator, active, everything about this metabolic pathway, glycolysis, TCA, oxfos, its regulation as well as inhibition. The next is protein folding and degradation itself this topic is very important so you should not skip this topic the next is structure and function of dna so every time they give you a four marks question where they will be asking about what is the difference between a b and z uh, structure of dna so you should know anti conformation syn conformation what are the residues that are present in all these three different types of dna what 
what are the major and minor groups whether they are wide and narrow flat so you should know everything about between uh, a b and z dna conformation the next is cofactor coenzymes and vitamins and this is the most easiest i would say and also the most important part from where in, uh, questions are asked every year around every year it is asked as they will be giving the match the following question and you have to match column a with column b like they will be giving a vitamin name or you have to match with coenzyme so like this you have to cover this topic so these are all important topics from biochemistry that you should not leave if you are preparing for upcoming csir net life sciences examination that is ph concept amino acid protein ramachandran plot enzyme kinetics mm kinetics i'll be plot ed hausty plot everything about mm equation and its regulation kinetics how to specifically calculate enzyme activity and everything and at last you have to cover about metabolic pathways protein folding and degradation structure of dna as well as cofactors coenzyme coming to the next unit that is unit number 2 which is also called as cell biology if you see cell biology you have to prepare about plasma membrane what is its structure function as well as the transport that is happening across the plasma membrane so make sure you are covering this topic in detail and if you learn you will find a separate topic that is transport so if you are learning transport here so no need to cover it again because you are already covering in plasma membrane so under transport you have to specifically cover diffusion osmosis facilitated diffusion what are ions channel there is a detailed classification on of the of all these active transport and pumps so you should prepare active transport and pumps as well the third is formation of lipid graph you should know the composition of lipid graph whether it is sphingolipid cholesterol and some other lipids so you should know the composition and the function of lipid graph that is formed in cell membrane the next is protein sorting mechanisms and trafficking you should know about the intracellular as well as co-translational protein sorting mechanism and you should also know about the signal sequences that are specific for different organ transport so you should know about the signal sequence is like plastid mitochondria er or you can say golgi what you should know every sequence about the protein that are responsible for protein sorting mechanism the next is endocytosis and phagocytosis pathway you should be knowing the very important that is cell cycle and checkpoint from this uh, from this topic every year questions are being asked so make sure you are not leaving this topic because from this topic or you can take answer from unit four so both of these topics are asked together so make sure you are not leaving this cell cycle and checkpoints topic the next is cell organelle function and property you should be knowing every function of cell organelles like if it is csir exam they will ask you a question in part b or direct question will be asked so you should be knowing about the cell organelle function and its properties also what are operons and transposons you should be knowing very important cytoskeletal actin filament intermediate microtubule microfilament so you should be knowing or you should have a thorough idea of about cytoskeleton their functions as well as importance and at last the cell fusion experiments like they will be asking the cell fusion experiment like if g1 phase is combined with the s phase they will be asking about the frap profile so make sure you are learning the frap experiment and also the experimental concepts related to frap as well as cell fusion experiments so this is about the unit 2 that is cellular biology now coming to the unit number 3 which is molecular biology make sure you are learning the fundamental processes as well as the enzymes and the mechanisms in Wall. so the first fundamental process over here is replication so you should be thorough with the enzymes that are involved in initiation elongation as well as termination as well as the mechanisms you, you should be clear with the mechanism what step is the active process or in which step is the uh, is atp is required so you should be knowing everything about this fundamental process the next is transcription again the mechanisms and the enzyme involved and similarly you have to learn it for translation you have to learn it for protein synthesis what are three different pathways or you can say three different step processes as well as the enzyme involved make sure you are learning dna damage as well as mutation pathway what are different types of dna damage mutagens that are involved in causing mutations 
and if this mutations has occurred in the organism genome then how it will be repaired so here you have to learn about dna repair pathway more specifically ber dna you can say this photoreactivation pathway or single strand dna damage repair as well as double dna damage repair so you should be learning about all these three different type of damages and also the recombination and its type make sure you have to learn about homologous recombination and site specific recombination also this is 3D part which is very important gene regulation in prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes so you should learn this topic as well the next is processing of RNA and post transcription modification so we all know once the RNA is formed it will undergo post transcription modification which is also called as processing so here should always learn uh, splicing and all other um, process like capping polyadenylation that happens in mRNA how the splicing of rRNA tRNA takes place so you should know about all these processing mechanism post translation modification of protein so we have many different types of post translation modification like acetylation methylation everything so you should know the importance of all these post translation modification whether acetylation is going to on the mechanism or on the uh, transcription or methylation is going to switch off the uh, transcription or it is going to repress something so you should know specifically about the post translation and modification of protein the next is operon that is lac operon and trap operon so you should know the positive and negative regulation of both of these operon models what is rna interference mechanism how it is actually working and regulated what is the difference between mirna and sirna working so you should know this also lambda phage regulation so nowadays lambda phage question is also asked so you should know about the lambda phage regulation that is bacteriophage lambda so you should know about the genetic control of bacteriophage lambda and the last is mode of action of antibiotics whether antibiotics is going to affect the cell wall synthesis of bacteria protein synthesis or it is going to inhibit the replication process or any fundamental process so you should know about the mode of action of antibiotics and this is all about the unit 3 that is molecular biology now coming to the unit 4 that is cell communication and signaling so this unit is asked along with csi unit 2 that is cellular biology that we have already seen so make sure that you are studying all these topic because if you are leaving any topic and if it is asked along with csi2 you will miss something so better not to skip this unit as well so the first topic that is important is entry of viruses in different hosts means you have to know the strategy that virus adopt to enter into the host this is the first topic that you have to learn. So there are many different strategy that is membrane fusion, phagocytosis. So you should be learning about all these strategies. The second is mechanism that is signaling mechanism. Very, very important. You should not leave at any cost. The first is GPCR, enzyme linked react, uh, receptors like RTK, RASMAP, kinase, JAK-STAT pathway. So you should learn all these mechanisms in detail. So this is a star mark. You should not leave all these mechanisms. So although it is a detailed part, so you should not be leaving this. The third is rhodopsin pathway that is a part of uh, GPCR signaling as well and also delta naught signaling. So rhodopsin pathway also you should cover in detail and what is delta naught signaling that we are going to study in developmental biology as well. The fourth is CAM molecules very important you should know in detail about the CAM molecules and their importance as well as function. The fifth is cancer genes. What is the mutation that happens in tumor suppressor gene, proto-oncogene? So you should know about the tumor suppressor gene, its history, everything in detail. Oncogene, its working mechanism and also the examples of proto-oncogenes as well as tumor suppressor genes. So you should be learning this topic as well. The next is apoptosis. What are the two different pathways of apoptosis that is extrinsic and intrinsic mitochondrial pathway. So you should be learning about apoptosis as well and along with it you should have a knowledge of necrosis. So make sure you are learning both these topics parallelly. Immunology coming to the fourth section that is immunology. You should be having a detailed idea about B cell, T cell, MSC very important, MSC class 1, class 2. What are uh, different types of hypersensitive reaction that is of four types, cytokines, vaccine, vaccines and related experiments so from vaccines many experiments are asked they'll not just ask you a direct question if direct question are asked 
that will be asking in uh, that will be given in part b but if you are asking a uh, like you can say this direct question or the experiment related question so that will be asked in part c so here you have to answer you have to read the graph and accordingly you have to answer this question the next is maturation and activation of b and t cell so you should be learning the maturation and activation of b and t cell its profile that is given in qb immunology book the next is host pathogen interaction how the pathogen is interacting with the host like virus bacteria as well as toxins so you should be learning this as well the next is hla typing and experiment so from this the questions are being asked every year now so you should be focusing on hla typing and experiments that is a part of immunology as well so now coming to the unit number 5 that is developmental biology and you can see there are a number of topics that you have to study and each and every topic is important from developmental biology because you can expect question from any of these topics so you should not leave this developmental biology unit i would suggest as per my experience so the first topic is paracrine factors and morphogen this topic itself uh, you can say it's a simple topic but this is damn important so you should not leave about paracrine factor what are the examples of paracrine factors just a direct question is asked four option will be given you have to select which is not a paracrine factor so you should be knowing about example as well so morphogen importance c elegans developmental biology its axis its cleavage apoptotic pathway mutation cases everything is important you should learn in detail about the c elegans pathway how the islands induction is done what is the specific importance of pax6 protein so this also you should know specific ligand receptor complexes and examples so you should know which uh, ligand is specific for which receptor sometimes this is also asked in exam or you can say incorrect match will be asked so you should be knowing about the ligand and receptor complexes drosophila development again a very important topic genes involved in drosophila development like matter genes pair role genes segment polarity genes so you should be knowing about all of these genes and also their mutation cases this is also very important frog developmental biology what is spemens organizer new cup center so you should you be so you should be learning about its translation study what will happen if we uh, you can say graph this uh, organ or this part into that organ so you should know the outcome of all these things so translational studies as well as mutation cases the next is fertilization in plants and animals although this is a simple topic but again csir now is more biased towards this so since 2020 examination they are asking from fertilization as well so you should learn this fertilization in plants as well as human fertilization and also sex determination this also you can expect one question so it depends if they are asking otherwise this will not be asked if one question will be asked so particularly it will be from sex determination topic the next is c urchin developmental biology again this is very important you should know about all the cleavage pattern that is happening what is the egg what is the uh, cleavage of that egg so you should know particular about c elegans and everything c urchin drosophila everything tetrapod and chick development you should know about the tetrapod how does it form takes place and transplantation study along with mutation cases is very important under this tetrapod chick development topic the next is trophoblast icm disease and fate and again this is a very important topic you should know about the genes that are on or repressed during this trophoblast or icm disease and fate again this is very important the next is vernalization the vernalizing gene or you can say the genes that are involved in flowering again this is very important tnets based study will be asked that is from abc model of flower development so you should know about the genes as well as the abc model of flower development in detail so again this is very important as they will ask what will be the phenotype of the flower in that particular plant if the class c gene is mutated so you should know everything about a b c d e model of flower development types of stem cell what are the four different five different types of stem cell and also their exam examples and also the difference between conditional and autonomous specification why cytoplasmic determinants are needed for autonomous why conditional uh, specification is relied on morphogen so you should know all these things fate of germ layers and organ formation and ultimately types of x and cleavage patterns in all these uh, animals like c elegans C elegans, C urchins, Drosophila, everything that we have discussed, like frog. So you have to learn everything about developmental biology. So this is all about the unit five. Now coming to the next unit, that is unit number six, and that is plant physiology. So here you have to focus some important points, like what is the concept of plant water potential. As they will give you a numerical, you have to deduce.
use the final answer and the flow of water from one cell to the next. So you should be knowing about the concept of water potential and also the formula for calculating this water potential. How the transport is occurring between or uh, through this xylem and phloem. So you should know the apoplastic and symplastic pathway and also the transport through this xylem and phloem. The third is electron transport in photosynthesis. That is very important. You should know the detailed mechanism of photosynthesis, how the light and dark reaction differs from each other, what is dark reaction, what is light reaction, how Kelvin Benson cycle takes place. So all these things you should be knowing in detail. So you should be learning about the metabolic pathways like C2, C3, C4, CAM, as well as the different between them and if you are learning respiration you should know about the glycolysis the enzymes involved uh, TCA cycle that is Krebs cycle the enzymes involved their regulation inhibition everything in and outs of this respiration as well as photosynthesis that is a metabolic pathway and also at last you should learn about the inhibitors Coming to the phytohormone, which is again the very important section, the most important uh, part I would say, phytohormone, sensory photobiology, photoperiodism, secondary metabolite production and stress physiology. Because from here you can expect every year question in examination. So there are many different phytohormones, like there are eight different phytohormones. So you can get question from any of these. So make sure you are studying all eight. You are not leaving any of the phytohormone. Suppose if you are studying from gibberling and oxynodax, so you have to study all of those phytohormones. So phytohormones mean you have to study what are their biosynthesis, how it's their mode of action, their physiological role means their functions as well as the signaling pathway. What is the receptor? Where is the presence of the receptor? Is it present in the cytosol or is it present in the membrane? So is it intracellular or membrane bound? You should know everything about receptors as well and also the signaling pathway. If they are having any kind of inhibitor, so you should learn inhibitor as well. The next is sensory photobiology where you have to focus on photo phytochromes, cryptochromes as well as phototropins and along with it you should mention and learn about the photoperiodism and the detailed mechanism of this pathway. The next is nitrogen metabolism. Again, this is a very vast topic and very important. So you should not be leaving this nitrogen metabolism and also how the root nodule is formed in plants is biochemistry. What are the genes that are involved in the formation of root nodule? What are the not factors? as well as not Yulian genes. So you should be learning all of these topics. The next is secondary metabolite production like what are the terpenes, phenolics, alkaloids, cyanogenic, uh, cyan cyanogenic glycosides. So you should be learning everything about of uh, this secondary metabolites because and if you see the important topics that are asked every year is terpenes and phenolics. So terpene is the most important. You should not leave any example for here. So here we are discussing short, short topics. So terpene, phenolics as well as alkaloids. So you should not leave these topics. The last is stress physiology where you have to learn about abiotic as well as biotic stresses that are faced by the plant body. So this is all about unit 6 that is plant physiology. Now coming to the next unit that is unit number 7 that is human physiology. So again, see, uh, usually students, they will leave this unit. So if you are having the uh, important topics, so you can actually prepare these topics for unit 7. So the first is blood group. You should know about the blood group system, hemoglobin, everything about hemoglobin, its positive and negative regulation, and also the process of hematopoiesis. Also, you should be knowing about the graph of ECG, its principle and significance, how the cardiac cycle is actually regulated. So you should learn about the cardiac cycle, how there will be a transport and exchange of gases in uh, lungs. You should also learn about the waste elimination process that takes place uh, in nephron. So you should learn about this process also, how the action potential is generated, what is the value of that threshold action potential and also the working of synapse. So this is also very important. So you should not leave this topic. Neural controls of organ. The next is RAS system. Again, this is very important. That is the part of excretory system. So you should not re leave this RAS system as well. You should also learn about the mechanism of vision touch as well as hearing. So this also is very important. Digestion and absorption you should learn in detail as the questions are asked everywhere. Direct questions can be asked in two marks question. So you should be knowing about the digestion as well as absorption processes. Endocrinology very important and also very simple. Like if the match the following question is asked, you can just match the uh, uh, hormone that is released by the gland. So endocrinology hormone as well as related diseases like if hyperproduction of hormone takes place, 
if it is less produced so you should learn all the disease as well as hormone that are secreted by the glands and the last is reproductive system where you have to main focus on menstrual cycle you have to learn about the LH and FSH production during ovulation and menstrual cycle so this is all about the unit number seven that is human physiology and the show short topics from this unit now coming to the CSIR net unit eight that is genetics here you have to learn about genetic and all gene level things so the most important thing is probability every time it is asked calculate the probability what would be the probability of the f1 hybrid if two parents are crossed so you have to learn about probability what is a mono hybrid and dihybrid cross ratio everything gene interaction uh, pathways you have to learn about epistasis everything so gene interaction pathway is also very important like they will give you a diagram and accordingly you have to analyze that diagram and answer the question Linkage and mapping again this is very important they will ask you how uh, the, what is the linkage percentage so accordingly you have to learn about this concept linkage and mapping and also finding the gene order so you should be knowing about finding the gene order and how to find the recombination frequency so this is also very important and also sometimes the number of recombinants are asked in exam. Complementation and gene dissection theory again this complementation is very important they will give you a uh, you can say a experiment or a question kind of thing and there you have to deduce the number of complement group that is present the next is inheritance and maternal inheritance so you should be knowing about the inheritance pattern is specifically maternal inheritance so this is also very important co-transformation experiment along with HFR mapping this is also very important you should know how the HFR mapping will be done so they'll give you a diagram you have to deduce the outcome from that inversion translocation what is pericentric and paracentric inversion you should know all about the process what is mutation as well as deletion genetic disorders and pedigree you should know about solving the pedigree and also knowing the pedigree how to analyze the pedigree whether it is autosomal recessive or x-link recessive you should know about everything uh, related to pedigree analysis the next is inversion and translocation and the last is tetrad analysis that is also very important as you can get the uh, question on uh, calculating the tetrad or you can say combination. The next is CSI net unit number nine that is diversity of life form. Again this is a you can say the vast unit because that is like we are not knowing from which area the questions will be asked. Still I have come up with this important topic for this so you can refer this important topic and start preparing for you. Unit 9 that is diversity of life forms. So as the name only is diversity and this unit is diverse as well. So the first topic is concept of taxa and classification. So you should be knowing about the taxa and the classification that is a classification of plants, animals as well as microbes. You should be knowing the difference between phylogram and cladogram. What is the phylogeny and the tree relationship what is the criteria that were used by the scientists to classify the species what are the classification of animal plants as well as microbes you should be knowing this what are parasites and pathogens that are causing infection in plants or you can say animals so you should be knowing about all these things history of Indian subcontinent also it's very important what are the conservation strategies you should be learning this as well as well as parasites and pathogens specifically for plants and humans so you should not leave this topic Next is CSI unit 10 that is ecology and under ecology you should be learning about some specific topics like niche habitat as well as ecological rule. You should be learning about niche habitat as well as ecological rule and here come the Cathlamus Balanus theory. So you should be learning about this niche habitat as well as the ecological rule, what is Allen rules, Glogger rules, Bergman's rule, you should be knowing everything. You should be learning about the competition model and also its type. What is R and K strategies? You should be knowing very important. This topic is itself very important. What is Grimm's model? So you should not leave this R and K selection strategy. What is Lot Lotka Volterra model? They will give you an equation for this and you have to deduce which species will win whether it is species A or species B. Also, you should be learning about the predator prey model and also the mark recapture technique. So this is the very easy, uh, I can uh, I would say that very easy topic. So you should learn, you can get question in either part B or part C that is from mark recapture technique. The next is population growth kinetics. So you should be learning about growth kinetics as well. This is again a very important topic. 
The next is population dynamics and age pyramid. So you would be learning the survivorship curve and what are the age pyramids. So you should have a detailed idea about the uh, age pyramid. Succession and its type. Again, it's very important. Biodiversity, conservation, biology. How to calculate the NPP, GPP. So you should know uh, the formula for calculating the productivity and efficiency as well as the ecological pyramid. And the last is island biogeography theory. As the theory and experiments question will be asked from this topic that is island biogeography so you should know the concept well only then you will be able to solve the experimental question asked from this topic now coming to the unit number 11 that is evolution and if you see you have to cover theory of evolution and its type that is first what is lemarkism theory darwinism theory what is neo darwinism neo lemarkism everything about this natural selection what are the types of natural selection there are three types what are its modes is example that is very very important so you should not leave this topic the third is mating behavior in animals again this is important what are the types of genetic drift reason for genetic drift as well as examples what are the type of speciation reasons for speciation like we know that uh, peripatric para Allopatric, allopatric so you should know whether geographical barrier is causing the allopatric speciation means you have to learn the reason for this and also the examples all these speciation whether they are inhabited by or it is expressed by which kind of a species so you should know the examples for this as well the next is hardy weinberg equilibrium that is very important you should not leave this topic as you can expect the numerical from this the next is phylogeny as well as cladogram difference what is altruism as well as kin selection and also you will get a numerical from Hamilton's rule. So make sure you're not leaving this Hamilton's rule topic. The next is behavioral equal biology and the last is molecular evolution. So these are some topics that are important from unit 1, 11 that is evolution. Now coming to the CSI net unit 12 that is applied biology. And if you see applied biology, you have to prepare like genetic transformation in plant. And you know, transformation in plant means you have to prepare about agrobacteria mediated free gene transfer. What are the sequence that are having uh, happening? What are the structure and function of TI plasmid? Repeat sequences like inverted sequences that are present. What are the role of opines during gene transfer? And ultimately, the function of virulence gene that are very, very important. The next is protoplast fusion. What are the chemical agents that are involved? And also the stages and significance of somatic embryogenesis. The third is markers. You should know very well about the markers because sometimes you can expect the match the following question. Like they'll ask the multiple allelic marker as well as the single allelic marker. So you should be knowing the difference between RAPD, RFLP, AFLP, SSR as well as ISSSR. Also, you should be knowing the examples of transgenic plant that is transgenic tomato and potato and also the molecular methods to identify an expression and an integrity of transgene. So from this, you can expect part C questions. So this is also very important. The next is animal tissue culture. How the propagation and maintenance of cell lines and cell culture is done. You should learn about the cell lines example that is used for mammalian cell culture. Very important. The next is example of microbial metabolite like what are secondary metabolites as well as the plant secondary metabolite you should learn what are the microbial metabolite that are formed during stationary phase log phase so you should be knowing about the specific name primary metabolite that is formed in uh, this log phase and the secondary metabolite that is formed during the stationary phase so you should be knowing about all these things as well as the example related to it the next is vaccine production and its type also the examples and types of vaccines are very important how is their mode of action and also you can expect the graph related question from this topic the last is therapeutic applications of gene therapy as well as stem cell biology. So also this topic is very important because sometimes you can expect questions from this topic as well. So this is about unit 12 that is applied biology. Now coming to the last unit of CSI net life sciences that is CSI net unit 13 that is methods in biology and if you see methods in biology you will find you have to study the first topic that is vector you should know about the properties types as well as the carrying capacity of all these vector whether it is phage made cause made plasmid everything about the vectors statistical method where you should learn about the parametric as well as non-parametric test like t test chi square test everything about all these tests what is spectroscopy techniques like uv visible you should know the formula bl lambert's law you should know the 
numerical, what is the chromophore that are present in the DNA or protein that are absorbing the line, what are the amino acids that are responsible for absorbing the wavelength of light and also the IR spectroscopy, NMR spectroscopy and also mass spectrometry. You should know the calculation for calculating the for this mass spectrometry. So you should know everything about uh, this spectroscopy techniques. The next is techniques like DNA footprinting, microarray, fish transcriptome analysis so all these techniques itself are very important sequencing techniques you should know about the Sanger and Maxim Gilbert sequencing mainly you should know the reagents involved and also the result analysis so you should not leave this topic that is sequencing method the next is type of PCR what is the um, modification what are the principle of all these techniques as well as its application the next is microscopy that is compound and electron microscopy you should learn about phase contrast microscopy fluorescent microscopy what is its principle its importance and as well as its function and make sure you are learning about SEM as well as STEM so both these are a part of uh, electron microscopy the next is techniques where you have to learn about the electrophoresis chromatography scientification as well as the result analysis so they will be asking about which of the molecule will uh, get eluted at the last so you should be knowing everything principle in detail about all these techniques so you should not leave this technique which is very very important immunotechnics you should know about rhea elisa immunodeficiency so all these techniques are very important so gene knockout again very important where you have to learn about homologous recombination neomycin cassette how the gene is knocked out actually and also you should know about the outcome if they are designing any experiment and giving you so you should be able to answer that question as well the next is which is an extension of gene lock knockout that is a pre-lock space system as well as types. So you should be knowing about the experimental questions that are asked from this lock space system because you will be getting a experimental question. They will be designing an experiment and then you have to answer the question. The last is you should be having an idea about the facts as well as the flow cytometry like if they are giving you a facts profile of PBMC so you should know like which cell will come first like cell death, cell debris will be there, the lymphocyte, then monocyte, the neutrophil. So you should know the facts profile of all these PBMCs and also you can expect the graph based question and make sure these questions are very uh, you can say simple. So if you are learning and if you are having a uh, you can say a little idea about all these concepts so you will be able to solve the graph based question as well so this is about all the 13 units that we have discussed we have seen all the important units uh, you can we have seen all the important topics from each and every unit that is under CSI and at life sciences syllabus so now I have come to the end of my session so I hope the topics that I shared you was really helpful and you found the information was beneficial if you find the information was beneficial do hit like share and subscribe to our channel that is biotechnica meet you in the next video until next time this is your host ria from biotechnica thank you everyone take care keep learning